In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add some sound effects to your game. And the two sound effects I'm going to focus on is one for when the coin is collected and the other for when this little switch is flicked. And you may have noticed I've moved my switch from over here back to over here. Okay, let's have a look at this coin. So when the coin is collected, I want to play a little sound effect. So I need to open my coin scene. I can do that by double clicking on here. I could click on the little clapperboard here. I've already got mine open on this tab here. Let me go across and just open that. Now with the main or parent root node selected, I'm going to click on the plus here and search for audio stream player and just open the audio stream player there. So I've added that node. I'm going to rename this as coin collected. And then what I'm going to do is to add the sound effect over onto here in my inspector. Before I do that, obviously I need to have a sound file. Now you can grab sound files from many websites as long as they're free to use. I've grabbed mine from kenny.nl. Some great sound effects and assets over there. I highly recommend you have a look. So I'm going to grab my two downloaded sound files. I'm going to drag them and drop them into my file system area. The coin.ogg, I can drag that and drop it onto my stream. Now, one thing you need to be careful of is when you drag and drop your sound file onto here, your loop may be set as on. So I'll show you where that is. If you go to the import tab here, you can see loop is set to be on. I don't want that. I don't want it to keep looping. So I'm going to turn that off and just re-import that file. Okay, that's taken care of that. So let's go to this script so we can actually play that sound effect. So when the coin body is entered, and if that body is the player, obviously we're increasing the score, we're emitting this signal, that was all done a couple of lessons ago. And what I want to do next is to play the audio. Now the audio is coin collected, that's the audio player. So I need to target that. So I'm going to target coin collected and just simply say dot play. And that will play that sound effect. Now we do have an issue here, because if we play this sound effect, immediately we are doing a cue free. We're deleting or removing that coin from the scene. So this, we won't actually hear this. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I click on play, I go along, I collect the coin and no sound effect. Now it's a quick and easy fix. In the node tab here, you can see we've got this audio stream player with finished. So we can send a signal when the audio has finished playing. So I'm going to double click on that, send this signal to the coin script. It's called on coin collected finished. That's okay. Click connect. And there's the signal being passed here. We can see this little link and we'll grab that cue free. We'll just cut it from there and we'll just paste it into here. So the audio will play. Once that's finished, we're sending a signal and then we can remove the coin. Let's have a look at that. So go along, hit the coin. We have the sound effect, but there is a bit of a delay between that sound effect finishing and the coin disappearing. So I think what might be nice is if this coin would animate, maybe up and maybe fade out as well. Let's have a look at how we can do that. So in the coin, I'm going to add another node. This one's going to be an animation player. In the animation player, I can click on animation and new. Let me just call this coin collected. Okay, so what are we going to do? What are we going to animate? Well, as I said, I want to change the position of the coin. So we need to, uh, let's first of all, change the duration. I want to change that to half a second, so 0 0.5. Don't want it to last for too long. And then with the coin selected over here, in fact, let's go to the animated sprite bit, make sure we're on animation. I want to uh, animate the offset and it's the Y direction I'm animating in the offset. So currently we're set at zero. So at playhead zero here, Let's click on this keyframe. We're going to create another track here, an offset track, that's okay. Go along to half a second, and then at the offset, I'm going to change this to maybe negative 50. Remember, negative is in the up direction, and we'll click on keyframe again. 
The other thing I said I want to change is the, the alpha channel, so it'll fade out. So I'll go back to zero here, zero seconds. I'll click on modulate, click on that. The alpha is set to full 255, that's okay. So we'll click on to add that keyframe and create. And then at half a second, go to modulate. We'll reduce the alpha all the way down to zero and then click on a keyframe again. Now the only thing left to do is to play this animation player and we can do that up here. So I'm going to target the animation player and I want to dot play. And what do I want to play? I want to play coin collected. Now let's go ahead and play that. Here we have this coin, go and collect. It's animating up and we've got the sound effect. I think it looks a lot better than we had previously. The next thing I want to do is to add the audio to the switch. So let's open the switch scene and double click to open that. In the parent or root node here, we'll click to add the audio stream player, create. And over here where we've got the audio switch.ogg or whatever yours is called, we'll drag that and drop it into the inspector. And just recall, just click on the import tab here. Just make sure that the loop is turned off. If it's ticked on, just turn it off and re-import. I'm just going to click on to save that. Go to level one and in the scene, I'm going to click on the script for scene one. And I want to target the audio stream player in the switch. So that's quite easy to do. So we're going to target the switch and the audio stream player dot play run brackets, and that's all done. So if I click on play, I can go along, collect the coins, we've got the audio, and head along to the switch, and what should happen is we'll hear the audio for the switch, the switch will animate, and obviously the door will open. And there we go.